Right, welcome back everybody to Halibut Plays. We're going to do another gem editor tutorial for you. Uh, today we're going to be looking at landing craft. Um, so you can have landing craft in the game fairly easily, but to get the soldiers out they just sort of leap over the side and it doesn't look quite right. So uh, today we're going to focus on making the landing craft go to the beach, drop in the ramp, soldiers charge up the beach, put the ramp back up, and the boat drives back out to sea. So to begin this, we're going to want to first find our landing craft. So if you come down into the search bar at the bottom and put LCVP, that's going to bring up the boat for you. So we're just going to place that here by the beach itself because we're going to need to load it with soldiers in a second. So next, we're going to want to give this boat a tag so we can easily uh, find it again. So if you, you can put it down here in the tag box or if you press U and go into this number six option tags and we're just going to give it LCVP as a tag. I've got Alt and T on at the moment so you can easily see the tag come up above the boat so you know what tags you have given each object and we're also a big important part of this to make the boat actually want to drive up onto the beach is to change the where is it the constraint here this option so it's constrained to the ground at the moment we want it to go on none and you'll see it just raises up a bit there that's important because when driving out from deeper water and coming in if it's just set to ground it will instantly stop when the what it the game thinks the water is too shallow for a boat to drive up it so it just makes it a lot easier to put the constraint there to none okay so next we're going to want to actually place the soldiers into the boat so if we go on to human we'll get some americans here so first we're going to place three soldiers down and we're just going to give them a player so we're going to make them play a zero and we're just putting down three initially and we're going to put them in the yes, boat sir. because these are the actual crew members and we don't want them to leave the boat a bit later on so we don't want to give them any tags or anything and then next, this particular landing craft in this game, this sort of the vanilla kind of gameplay in Assault Squad 2 takes 14 soldiers. So we just put those down, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Make sure that they're the same player, so that play is zero. So these guys, we're going to want to give them a tag. So pressing U again, going on to tags, I'm going to give the, the tag Marines. So we click OK on there, and then we can just load them into the boat. It's a bit weird, like, the first section will go in, and then you have to always put the last four in. I don't know why it works that way, but it does. Okay, so they're all in there. So now they're in the boat, we can put the boat out to sea, somewhere where we're going to want it to start from, pressing C, we can rotate the boat to face the beach. So next, we're going to go down here and we want to set our waypoints. So the first waypoint we're going to, going to want to look at here is the landing craft. So we selected the, the flag here, the waypoint flag, we're going to want to add a group. So it's going to be LCVP again. I'm going to add our first waypoint. So we'll just pop it slightly in front of the boat there. So number zero. If we left click and select it, we can then just link zero to one by the shore. So that's our landing craft. That's all we're going to need for the moment is for it to drive up to the beach there. And we're just going to add down another group. The next group is going to be for the Marines that are going to land on the beach. So you can see with another group now, we can't see the original uh, waypoints for the boat. So 
what we're going to want to do for the Marines is put the first waypoint slightly ahead of where the boat's going to go to. So there's number two, we're going to select it. And we're going to want them to charge up the beach in different directions. So from there, from number two, we can create direction left and then select number two again. We can put all different directions that we're going to want the soldiers to spread out to. So I'm going to just drop a save down at that. So with that, the waypoints are done. And next we're going to have a look at a zone. So if we click onto the zone button, the circle there, right, uh, we're going to want a new, we're going to go with a new poly here. And we're just going to put landing zone. This is going to be important to have this um, because this will set where the soldiers actually leave the boat to help with the scripting. So you can just click the corners and we can just make that a bit smaller. We want to make this landing zone basically where the boat's going to get to because it has to, the boat, when it enters this zone, that's when it's going to admit the soldiers. The soldiers will come out of the boat because it'll get to the, the trigger point there. So as long as it reaches that zone, the Marines will come out of it. Okay, so that should be fine at that. Next, we're going to move down. We're going to sort out the triggers now. So I'm going to want to right click and add a new trigger. The first one is going to be here yeah, again, LCVP. We want to go down to the command straight away. Right click in there. I'm going to look for this waypoint command at the bottom. So this is where the tags come in handy. So we're going to go onto an actor. And we're going to want to select the boat, which is there. And we're going to want to set it to the waypoint. This waypoint is going to be zero because that's what we set out at the very start. And we can approach, we can force it to approach that waypoint. And that's all that you need to do for that one. So click OK. If you do forget which waypoint it is, just quickly go back onto here. Because when you start scripting loads of different waypoints, it's quite hard to remember which number you're on. And that's why it's easy to split them into groups. Because then you can just click on LCVP. You can see that's zero. So we're going to want it to go to that one first. So back onto the trigger. That's all we need to do for this. We can also test it just to make sure we're all working so far. Make sure we've done it okay. So if we press start, we can see that boat controls in that line and should get all the way to number one. All right, so we're happy at that. So we just click on finish again. Easier to check as you go along because you don't want to get through all the script and find out it doesn't work because it's harder to find what is the actual issue in your scripting. Okay, so next we're going to want to go back onto trigger and add a new one. This is going to be for the Marines. So now that we've created the Marines trigger, we're going to want to come down here and into condition. And so the condition that we want this trigger to work is when a unit, which is going to be our boat, reaches the landing zone. Okay. Which basically means when it gets to that point, that's when the ramp can start dropping down and the soldiers can start coming out. Without that, it would just instantly think to drop the soldiers right here. So we've got that condition now. So when it reaches the beach, it will fulfill these commands. So we'll get on with those. So the first one we're going to want to add is actually releasing the soldiers out of the boat. So if you go onto actor and go down here onto admit, and click OK. We're going to want to select the boat.
And the waypoint we're going to have is for us is two. If you want to double check, just click click on the flag, and then you'll be able to see which one you set. And that waypoint itself will be on the Marines group that we put earlier. So I'll show you that in a second. So waypoint two. Now you come down to mode. Currently it's default at all, which means everybody in the boat will leave and go up the beach. We don't want that. We want the crew to remain inside the boat. So we're just gonna make sure it's passengers only. So if you just double check, this is a waypoint that we want the soldiers to come out on. And then if they're admitted onto there, they can then follow these waypoints after. So we go back down to triggers. So we've done the admit command next. We're gonna add another one. We're gonna go on to entity and the effect. The effect's gonna be on the boat because this effect is gonna be the ramp dropping. So in effect, just type open. And that will drop the ramp. So at this point, you can drop save. And then we'll just see how we're doing. So the ramp is dropped. And the soldiers have come out. And currently, they're only just walking. This is a bit of an issue. Sometimes some soldiers do get a bit stuck. There's not really much you can do about that or much I can found what I have found to do about that. But eventually these sort themselves out. You can see they're splitting off in those directions. So we know that works. It's a very casual way to go up the beach. So we then want to add an actor state which means that these we can change the speed of the soldiers as they go up the beach so we go back onto marines we've got the effect so we right click again and go on add at the bottom of this list here or midway down the list you've got act state so click on that selector this time we're going to change it to the actual soldiers just click ok and then from here, now we've selected the Marines, we can put Weapon Prepare on, which means they'll get their weapons out ready for charging the enemy. And if you come down to Speed, you're going to want to change that to Assault, which means they're going to sprint up there. And then that's that done. So with Access State done, soldiers will sprint up the beach. But now we want to sort out the boat now leaving so if we right click we're going to want to leave a bit of time so all the soldiers can leave the boat so we've put down a delay here in that original list i'm going to leave it for we'll go with 10 seconds so the boat's going to hang about for 10 seconds and then it's still got its ramp down so you want the ramp to go back up so this is your quick list of one you used recently. So go on to effect, go on to selector, find the tag again, find the boat. And this time in effect, full enough, we're going to be putting close. And that's going to close the ramp for us. Now with that done, we're going to want the boat to withdraw to a waypoint. So from here, we can place where we want the boat to go to after it's dropped these soldiers off. So dropping them off, we're going to want it just to return back in the same direction that it came. So we can add a waypoint. Yeah, actually, it likes it if you link two together. So if you put, you can put this one just behind where it drops soldiers off and then add another one here. So they're linked together, eight to nine. So that's a direction that it will head. So that's fine. Go back onto your triggers onto our Marines. So we've got the effect. 
I'm going to want it to return to a different waypoint. So waypoint at the bottom. Who we're going to use is the actor again. Not marines. The boat. The waypoint there was eight. I'm going to force it to approach. That's okay. So if you drop down a save, and we'll test that out. So the soldiers are now sprinting up the beach. The ramp is dropped. The ramp will be back up. And the boat is now going to leave. Back in the direction that it came from. And that's all there is to it. A fairly simple scripting kind of procedure there. If you have any questions on that, just please let me know. Any more videos that you want to do. I'm going to try and get a few more videos out pretty soon, hopefully. So, yes, let me know what sort of things you want to see. All right, then, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.